come home and look like an absolute crazy person for that time. You need to go back. Zest, I'm actually going to go in with some. Designed the uh, retreat pad for David Beckham. They look like. But I'm kind of stressed out because. Afternoon, everyone. Oh, that's tins are just shiny. Afternoon. It is officially Christmas Eve. Ignore the washing behind here. Let's let's move. Let's stand here. Yeah. So it is Christmas Eve, and things are going quite smoothly. I've done all my Christmas shopping now. Actually, no, I haven't bought my husband a present. Um, uh, I'm planning to find some time to go out and get him something today. I think this is the first year I've been really like stuck for what to get him and been a bit last minute with everything just because of you know how weird christmas was or the lead up to christmas was for me so my mind hasn't really been there but you know, it's not about gifting and it's not just about gifting it's not just about receiving expensive presents and stuff like that so whatever i do get him i know he'll be grateful for i'm not doing any decorations i did actually see a free christmas tree at waitrose found these how beautiful are these and they smell amazing the actual real flowers that have been oh, these what are they it says christmas foliage or foliage but it's just it smells so amazing so i've got two of each two of each and i'm gonna pop them in my bent with my bent um pampas grass yeah we're gonna use it because we paid for it so we're gonna find a way someone actually told me that i should straighten them on a very um low heat and they should like be straight again so i'm gonna try that but that's gonna be a centerpiece for the dining table even though we still don't have dining chairs it's still nice to have what we're doing today so today we're gonna be prepping our ooh, christmas dinner for tomorrow so i've got two whole chickens i'm making salt fish fritters and apple coleslaw apple slaw and potatoes i'm making the roast potatoes as well so that's all my job for christmas oh i also got these as well from waitrose for half price everything like christmasy now is at half price so that's really good put batteries in them and they light up so i plan on putting these on the porch at some point today um what else yeah i think that's it um yes yeah, cooking this evening oh yeah we're shooting our christmas um a little family christmas digital card as well we did one last year with Ozai's in the tummy i miss him being there actually i don't miss him let me not lie i don't miss him being there i'm glad he's out um but yeah that's really it this afternoon um i'm always wearing a hat because i love my hats that is like my favorite accessory ever um this one's from h&m recent so you can still pop in and get this and i've got my chill top on because that's how i plan to feel and be this christmas chilled not stressed not fussed about anything this is from diesel um i got it from tk max actually yeah diesel tk max i don't know if it's there. but it's a cute relaxed fit t-shirt and i've just got some black skinnies on to go with my outfit and i plan on dropping my little cousin back home and then i'll just divert to get daddy's present yeah that's what we're gonna do quick telling this guy to get home because i need him for something i know when he went to go and get secret presents so all those things you were telling me they were lies huh mm? <coughs> huh i told him not to get me a present this year i said it's for you i can see mummy and wife or something like that huh <laughs> I caught you. So you won't see it? The outside now. Only if it's dark in it? Yeah. Okay, but I'll still put it for the picture. Picture. Sure. So everything in the waitress is like next to nothing now. Of course, because it's the day before. Um, okay, cool. Right, guys. Hi, it's about three in the afternoon. You know what? I'm just, I just can't wait to get this house sorted. It's annoying me. I hate mess. I hate clutter. I hate things being out of place. I hate things just being anywhere. Not find, not having a home. I just, moving is not easy. Like when it's all done and it's pretty, people don't realise how much 
goes into it anyway i don't want to talk too much because i feel like i talk so much on this vlog and i'm just complaining so anyway right now i'm doing christmas cards for my neighbors because oh, we did get some nice ones from our neighbors as well and i just think it's nice to return the favor and just let people know that we're here you know there's a nice family that lives next door to you and um you know just make people familiar with us and i feel like growing up i never got to know my neighbors like that so it's just good to know who is in your surrounding area so if you ever need a favor or a cup of brown sugar you know where to go so i want to get to writing these cards i just watching his favorite show because i just need peace and quiet right now and i tried to put him down for a nap but he just wasn't having it so let's get on with these there's a couple called gerald and geraldine how the heck did they meet honestly that is like fantastic <laughs> Upset. So I left these outside on the porch thinking they make nice little accessories. As you can see this one's got a ring. This one is now cracked. Literally just got this from um waitress today. Don't know if I could salvage it. The ring's still intact but got some pieces here. Nah, that's really annoying. Imagine myself doing stuff like this. If it is really nice, it's thoughtful and it's cute. I mean, love being cute over here, you know. So that's the last of my cards done, and I'm just gonna go and pop it through the post. So I've managed to get hubby's Christmas present, which I'm really happy about because I had no idea what to get him. And I've actually got him two things that he wants. And one thing that's at home, that was a Christmas present. Yeah, it was, because I haven't given it to him and I plan to wrap it. So now I need to go home and figure out how I'm gonna wrap this stuff without him seeing what I actually bought. But yeah, this is my little cousin Malachi, Anthony Malachi. Hi. He wants to be a YouTuber so badly, but guys, he doesn't have to behave, so therefore he's not allowed yet. You need to learn how to behave. But yeah, very happy. That's all the presents done and dusted. It wasn't that bad this year. Last minute still, but it wasn't as hectic or as stressful as I thought it would be. So, time to go home, wrap up these presents. We delivered all our Christmas cards to our um, neighbors, which is good. Catch you guys back at the house. Right, so I've come home. I look like an absolute crazy person, but that's fine. It's New Year's Eve, we're allowed, I'm not, Christmas Eve, we're allowed. Um, I've just come back from, I've come back from shopping and hubby's upstairs bathing our son. So it's perfect timing. I can quickly wrap his gifts and hopefully he doesn't come downstairs. So, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. We're back. The final gift. The baby is out of the box, so we need to hurry up. Whew. Right. So done. His three dress presents are wrapped. I can calm down. I can chill. So tonight, this is our church, by the way, Destiny Christian Center. Love of. No, love God, love people, love life. Amen. We're having Thai food. I love Thai food. And it looks really good, you know. Like, Sarika. Sarika. Not... So that's duck. That looks good. This is some fried rice thing, which also looks yum. This just looks like the thing that we had when we went, um, when was in, was it, Sapok? Remember? The being... At the BN, he cut his hair, guys. He's back to being bald. <laughs> He's back to being my sexy husband. Sexy, sexy husband. Sexy. Green seafood curry thing here. Sometimes. Looks really, really good. Looking forward to this meal. Over here is all the presents that me and hubby are going to wrap tonight. Doesn't it, babe? 
Why are you laughing? So what are you going to be doing while I'm wrapping presents? I'll be sleeping. I don't think so. Me that's been up since 3.30 this morning. So like, it's approximately 10.40, about 10.40. Had our food, we're full up, but now we're tired. But we move, we move. In it, babe, we move. Yes, we move. Yes, we move. quarter past 12 it's officially Christmas in this household Merry Christmas everyone and we're done packing well not packing we're done with all our Christmas wrapping hubby did really well actually so that's a box right there that's for all our family members the kids and whoever else still working on Isaiah's um presents and his sack and what not that he's gonna open he's stocking uh, so cute we got this from um i think it was house of fraser or john lewis no house of fraser very very cute i think eventually i might get his name embroidered on it it's very nice Isaiah's his gifts are wrapped, ready for him to open tomorrow. Would have done this a little bit different, but such, uh, didn't know if we were celebrating, not celebrating, <laughs> gifts, not gifts. But we thank God for the truth. Got my nails, oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you, I got my nails finally done. And I got them like very Christmassy and sparkly. I don't know if you can see, is that in focus? Yes, there we go. They're so cute. Very much in season. I love, love, love them. It's like, so I have to get up his present. Oh my God. Yes, I forgot I haven't ribboned his um, presents. He's actually being grouchy. I think he thinks I actually didn't get him nothing. Which is quite funny. <laughs> but I gotta do that now. Um, but I'm gonna go now and see you guys I won't well, tomorrow, but well today. Do you know what? I'm talking rubbish. I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Good night. It's Christmas morning. Yo. Merry Christmas. The little man is opening his gifts. And he's thoroughly enjoying them. As you can see. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna get through our gifts and then I'm gonna get on with the rest of today's um, cooking. <sighs> Do you want a shout out or something? What is your problem? No, just say hello. Just say hello. You said hello like seven times. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Incredible Hulk and incredible hope to see ah, very nice it's what you asked for yes. nice funny a new one i think i've bought you one this is the third third one is it you love it i'm glad you do <laughs> you're welcome excuse me the parasite tomorrow is not part of christmas please we are we are we are in perfect health <laughs> next presents come on Audrey. come on Babe, can you just make yourself a bit neat? You <laughs> <laughs> mean, what did you go and buy? Ooh. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> pen, pen, eight. Easy. Pen, pen, Oh, it's a gift card. No, they're meant to do gift tag, it be. Oh, anyway, let me show it. Ah, got my coin purse. <laughs> my card holder. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Oh, it's a really nice one as well. Now I can stop losing my cards. I've lost cards this year. Or oh, I've misplaced them. You even lost one of mine. Yeah. That's, see, good husband, you know, he gives me his cards, but I lost one. Well, I found it again. 
So we got Ozzy this um, cute cleaning set because he absolutely just loves to follow me around with the broom, the mop and everything. So plus he can actually help me out because this stuff you can actually use to clean, isn't it Oz? So cute. We got it from Amazon. Um, I'm sure you can get it from multiple places but Amazon is our go-to for everything as you know so yeah you can see it's such a beautiful day like I was just complaining remember I was just complaining the other day about how oh this hair I need to really flick up today but um remember when I was complaining that the weather is just so poor it's been raining I'm so happy that on a day that we're celebrating Jesus Christ that the sun has decided to come out glory glory be to god look how beautiful the sky is today honestly i'm just so happy about that so this morning we're having banana waffles with some bacon and i was gonna do duck but there's no time so we have to be realistic so we've made a quick breakfast christmas breakfast which is maple bacon banana waffles and some cranberry sauce so easy to do slapdash and yeah i'm gonna box this back and then get on with the rest of the cooking today your food is coming don't worry so today i get to see what my oven is really made of i've always 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 wanted a range cooker we've had one um, well when we first moved to our house my mum well when me my mum and my sister first moved to our house um in Essex the owner of the last house left their um their cooker and it was a range it was a range cooker and we were just like oh my god this cooker is amazing I've never seen a five stove gas burner with a griddle pan on the side like it was just all the bells and whistles so we had that for at least seven years and then that broke down so then we um i love this like i can bake how many cakes can i bake here this is fantastic um and then um that broke down and then we was just like no there is no way in this life that we could ever go back to just like a basic cooker so we now bought one a replacement well our insurance got us a replacement so then i was just like nah when i get my house eventually I need to have a range like I can't have a basic cooker and obviously when we moved into moved into the flat and I saw it was like an electric cooker I was just a bit oh can't stand electric cookers like if you're a real cook and you know you know about cooking trust me electric cookers are not the one but like they even change the they change like they cook the food differently they change um the taste like the flavors that you get from when you cook with a gas burner and an electric cooker is completely different so anyway managed it as you do um for 18 months and then when we saw this house and obviously the kitchen was just ticking all the boxes and i saw the range and i was just like mate no this is a sign from god because i said that i'm gonna have a range and i've got one so and i'm gonna have a range rover car as well yeah we're manifesting it all into our lives but yeah so i want to see what this is made of my kitchen is upside down and it's probably going to be like this until tomorrow there's no time to tidy up or get anything in order so yeah guys enjoy the mess so these are the two chickens that have been marinated one is this one's just like garlic no no i think this is the sweet one so this one's like got sweet it's got some honey and maple syrup and it's so sweet and savory and then this one is garlic rosemary so garlic in the bottom with the grading for the chicken but it's okay right to get crispy potatoes all the time the idea is to not have too many in a tray otherwise they'll sweat and then they won't get crispy so, but about to pour in my goose fat so just pour it in like that. i'm so glad it's already uh, thawed because it saves me having to melt it first in the oven and then pour potatoes in after just mix it up like this so just make sure all 
fat of the potatoes have actually got some of the goose fat on it. And I'm going to season it with some salt, pepper, garlic and a bit of herbs. Let's check on my potatoes. Oh, my roast is a good one. Look at that. Yum. How crispy they look. And let's check on our chicken. Woo! This oven is really the business. Wow. Okay. So, I need to turn my chicken over and then it should be done. So, about to make my apple slaw. Got one whole red cabbage, a few sprigs of um, spring onions and pink lady apples. They're really sweet. So that's why I chose them because I don't really want to add any extra extra sugar, which I have to, but I don't want to add too much. I feel like something's missing. Yes, my pomegranates. <coughs> so we're making a crunchy apple slaw and this is my recipe. But first, we're going to take our cabbage and just chop it. So four apples, I'm gonna wash these quickly and then I'm gonna um, slice them into like matchsticks. So in the end, I only ended up using two apples. I think two is more than enough to add to this one cabbage. So I'm gonna add that in. Slice in between those grooves. And then it should just open like a delicate flower, like that. Finally, some mayo. it all up. I'm actually going to use agave, I'm not going to use sugar because I don't actually have white sugar in this house so I don't use it. I'm going to use agave. Agave. I feel like um, brown sugar is too granulated so you taste it like the crunches and whatnot so we're gonna go with go in with agave a bit of parsley and some salt some black pepper and there you have it guys crunchy apple slaw with pomegranates red cabbage spring onions such a simple recipe and it tastes so good. I used agave as a sweetener instead of sugar. Added some salt, black pepper. If you do have lemons to hand, which I don't and I regret, you can um, grate in some lemon zest. I'm actually gonna go in with some orange zest instead and grate some of this in. And yeah, I know it's gonna taste bomb regardless. So I've done my um, saltfish fritters. I'm gonna make the rest of this at my sister-in-law's house because I haven't got time and I need to get ready and leave. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's <laughs> Saturday. How many days after Christmas? So Christmas was on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I have not vlogged, I haven't been on here. I have not done anything because I have not been feeling well. Literally the day after Christmas. Do you like my robe by the way? This is the only thing I bought for myself for Christmas. It's got my initials on it. I got one for um, hubby as well. So his one says DA. So we're matching, cute couple and all that. But yeah, quickly before he comes downstairs and starts shouting. We need to quickly go to um, Hobbycraft or one of these um, shops to get some. I need to put up my Desenio frames today. So I'm quickly going out to do that. 
but I thought I'd jump on here because I'm feeling a lot better. Ozzy's had a temperature as well for the last three days, so we've just both been out of it to be honest. But feeling a lot better today, so we're gonna go outside and get some fresh air. Oh, I look, it looks nice. <laughs> I think it looks all right anyway. Beyonce. Beyonce. Anyway, we're in next outlet and we just came here because we need to go hobby craft. But we found a side table. No, it's all chipped. Look. Chipped. So, yeah, we're just looking around to see what we can find. Do you guys like my wig? I'm still very undecisive, indecisive about it. Babe, what are you doing? She just ran into me, weirdo. But this is. But what? Anywhere. What do you think? No. You know what chairs I want for the kitchen? Glass is nice. What do you think of this? It's nice. I think I like the green. I feel like a real Becky with the hair style. Beyonce. Beyonce. So back home now. <clears throat> from Hobbycraft, or that was where it was meant to be. We still went, we went to Hobbycraft, but we stopped over. We saw um, a next outlet in there because they had home stuff, which we picked up. Got two um, candle holders, which were reduced. I'm currently um, just quickly giving that? the kitchen a little mop because it's very this is my grubby. They can't for me. Anyway, go and get your own YouTube channel. Excuse me, I don't want. He's actually got one, it's called Jet Code, guys. No, On there you can see our proposal, or when he proposed to me, so. Go check it out. Jet Code, that's the only video that he's got on there. <laughs> but, um. Excuse me, I have like, I have So, I want to show you guys my kitchen prints for the Sinio. I forgot to get a frame for this one, which is really annoying. But we're gonna put these up today. I'll try and put, oh no. <sighs> Do you know what? I went to range thinking I'd get more, pre um, more, actually no, I've got some Ikea ones I can use. I'll use the Ikea ones. You can use my code. Oh, I need to get you my code. Let's get you the code for your 10% discount. They actually have 30% on, on at the moment and you can get, an, I think you can get an extra 10%. So my code is Alexis Ajay. So it's literally just my name. You can see how I've taken pictures of them. They will be up on my Instagram. So that's Alexis Ajay, underscore Ajay, Alexis underscore Ajay. And they'll also be on the Cognition Interior Instagram, which is Cognition Interiors. So make sure you're following both accounts so you can see how beautiful they look in our house just to I've got to say so these are the frames that, just some basic white frames see and this black one as well these are what i'm going to be using to stick my frames up on the wall pray to god that they stay oh and these are what i got from um next so they're called taper candlesticks they're really nice you can see a picture of what they look like so i've got two of these a small one and a large one so that's them there very nice. Decided to do a little wall collage kind of thing over here. See, I hope that that works. What's up? Hope that that works when I take my final images. Frames are up. It's roses, basically. I love the blush pink because our theme in here is actually so like we've got brown blush pink green brass gold all those rich colors and i wanted my frames to reflect all of those so so in my kitchen and i'm about to put my tesenio prints into some other frames so fyi we bought these um what are they called come come on the picture strips i'll get you the name but um we cut them in half fyi just so that we have enough so they actually come thicker than this like so so that's about the width you get but we cut them in half so we can make it stretch and a lot of the frames we have or had are quite thin so we didn't need them to be that thick anyway so hopefully they'll still stick So these 
are my three frame one well, three frames from range but the prints are Designo and um, I do have some more prints but I'm kind of stressed out because I mentioned this before that our island is not directly in the middle of the kitchen so we don't have equal amount of space on each side of the kitchen and now that the dining table is now on the other side where we had the sofa I just feel like there's just so much space that could be used obviously I get the dining chairs that are gonna be here which used to take up more space but I prefer this by the window I mean dinner but you know summertime it'd be so nice to have it by the bifolds have the bifolds open have dinner you know indoor outdoor feel that kind of thing but it will just be a tight squeeze because of the russian island stool but now the sofa makes no sense being where it is this is just not any it's just that makes sense doesn't make any sense whatsoever my husband who is the architect is not even being helpful and it's just being yeah well i didn't follow your advice because i did apparently i was meant to do a floor plan which i probably agree with but i haven't now so what is the solution no i think i'm gonna put it back it was much better where it was pretty much upset now okay yeah no i'm not gonna cry but i'm a little bit annoyed to say the least basically the whole lounge idea that i had i don't know if it's going to be able to happen because of the restricted amount of space go back to the left tell me about the time you didn't use floor plans properly mr architect uh was at uni i mean works so had a project that was uh what was it Designed a, a retreat pad for David Beckham. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. One of I the, think it was dating then. One of the criticisms I had was that um, the space I made for the bed for his bedroom wasn't big enough to fit a bed. <laughs> and that was because you didn't use floor plans. I didn't use them properly. Right. Okay. I just made a square and said that's the bedroom, but I didn't actually. Oh, right. Okay. So yeah, got our prints up. Oh, lovely actually um and i can build on this gradually as i said i've got more prints but no frames and um no sticky wall things so i will be getting some more and be building up on this wall or literally on our way to church so i'm just preparing and um, a lot of you have asked me to do my top 10 baby things like a review or the top 10 useful baby things that i have and i plan on doing that today when i get back just wanted to show you why i love hegan so much or hegan i don't know how i say hegan but it could be hegan and it's i think it's a japanese or filipino brand um of bottles these are the larger bottles and i got these because um one they're bpa free they're square so they're easy for me to grip and for the baby to grip and um they um you can take them off with like just one click like boom like that i'm not going to show you because that's really hot and i don't want to spill but um and you can connect them together in the fridge so he's got a bit of tangerine in there he's got his porridge oats that he refused to eat this morning and some extra milk and i put everything in this kudi cooler and um this comes with ice packs actually that you slide down the side you slide down here that's where the ice packs go but i don't need them today because i'm not trying to keep any milk cold so i just literally put these in there like so you can see they're all attached at the bottom then i put this milk in as well and then i put some organic food and that's it but i will be doing a review later so this will be featured and so will the bottles i just kind of wanted to show you that this morning and I'm whispering because if my husband catches me vlogging, I'm in trouble. So I gotta go. Oh. So, hi guys. We just got back from church and a Sunday lunch. And, um, excuse my hair. It's like frazzled from um, the hat I was wearing all day today. Oh, I love this coat. One of my presents from Hubby was this coat. And it's so cosy and snug. I just love it so much. I haven't managed to take a good picture of it yet. But I will. And show you guys. It's very oversized. 
All I know is it's from Stand Stand something, but he got from Netta Porter, so it's with Stand. Stand, oh, I don't know. Stand Studio, that's it, Stand Studio. But yeah, very nice day out with the family. Great service at church. Just, it's just a nice day, so yeah, glad to be home. It's been a long afternoon. My son's going at a yeah, you need to come back. Come back here. You know when they call and they stop to look at you like, I'm going now. Come back. 